What's up everybody, this is DDS and in today's video I will be back using FL Studio. Kind of doing like I did with Logic and that is just testing different things like trying to use the DAW by itself. So like trying to make a beat in FL Studio all by itself and then eventually incorporating Machine into FL Studio and then showing you guys how you could use Machine inside of FL Studio. But the last video I did on FL Studio was just me simply making a beat, just using FL Studio. Had fun with it, took a little while to get adjusted to it, and then after that, I really didn't finish that beat. I went back into Machine and then just started working, knocked out some crazy beats, and now I'm just about to go over and mess with FL Studio. Right now, I have Logic up because I'm recording this video, but I'm going to go back into FL Studio and uh, try and make beats and then use, think about using this, you know, I use the complete control. Uh, what is it, S61 or is it S62? I don't remember. I think it's 61. I've been using that with um, uh, FL Studio, and I'm about to go back into a dive in and just try and make some more beats just using FL Studio. So, this beat will be me working my way around FL Studio again, just trying to make a beat and complete it. I may do arrangement here as well, even though I don't really know if I'm gonna make the best. Uh, track trying to do all that in FL Studio right now and on camera, but I'm gonna try my best you guys Let me know what you think in the comments below I will have my camera set up and I also will have my voice going like I did in a previous video So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I've seen people say I should try Ableton uh, Studio one and I think it was another one that I'm missing, but I'm thinking about giving those a try too I'm definitely thinking about getting Ableton here soon and I'm gonna uh, probably get a push or that just to test that out and see how it goes but still it's just something about machine my workflow is so much faster just going with machine so I'm not doing this to be you know like uh, different because somebody's like you got to figure out what works best for you and stuff like I, I know that I'm well aware of that but it's just trying different workspaces can cause different creative flows for me like in FL Studio I was making drum patterns that I wouldn't normally make in machine probably because I'm using my fingers on machine outside of just clicking the drum sequencer on uh, FL Studio so I'm about to go ahead and dive into that let me know what you guys think in the comments below and hopefully you guys enjoy this video because I don't even know what I'm about to make but stay tuned okay so I'm about to go ahead and get started uh, first things first I like to when I'm using FL I like to try and start with a basic drum pattern. Again, I'm using Certified Gold, or I might go down to Pure Drip this time. I might go mess with Pure Drip. But I like to use uh, drum patterns to start off with just when I'm using FL. I used to, well, I say I usually use like melodies and chords inside of Machine. But since I'm doing something different this time, I'm just about to go ahead and uh, do this. I'm gonna find some stuff I like in here and get it going. I already like that I had it simple. Go like that. Start playing it. Sorry if y'all hear any background noise. My son is playing the game and he's loud. <laughs> Not that I had it like that. change this high hat I was debating on if I wanted to open up Arcade or if I wanted to just uh, use, uh, try and build something from scratch. So I'm gonna try and build something from scratch. I may change these drums around though, depending on how this next part goes. And I remember now I have to put this over here so it doesn't get locked in. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna drag it to about right there. Uh, I'll put a couple on there. Need to make a new pattern. I don't know what I just did. Let me 
listening to that over and over by itself it started giving me a headache I'm not gonna lie all right so i need to go ahead and make a new pattern i don't even know what to call it i'm gonna go instrument because i'm about to try and load up something i'll change it as i get going I'm gonna go like this, put a loop on here. Do I need to? Take these off actually. I wonder how come the analog lab five isn't showing up on here. Maybe I need to rescan these, but I'll try it later. I'll go along without it. As I stated earlier, I don't know what I'm about to make to mess around though. this actually see what this sound like I wish I could control FL on the uh, complete control maybe it's something I'm missing I know in logic I could hit play record stop and everything would go just like that but for whatever reason right now it seems like I can't do that so maybe it's in my settings I didn't change it but we'll see let me go ahead and play this cloning this so I can add layers to it and possibly change the actual piano
This is just weird trying to record this like this. And I'm sure that's gonna be messed up, but I did like what I did for uh, the first half of the pattern. So let me see. Don't record. actually like this so far um, I'm about to go ahead and drop the bass uh, maybe a pad or something maybe a pad or something after that and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dive back into the drums and keep it moving from there but I'm liking this so far the interesting part is going to be me trying to arrange this though I made the beat I feel like pretty fast because it's not much more for me to add so I'm gonna be taking those sounds in and out but uh, once I do that we'll see how it goes gotta go to my uh detroit sound and bass so many different versions of this bass is funny but i'm gonna I'm tweak it a little bit once it loads and i will say again it seems like this take a little bit longer to load than uh when i'm using machine for some reason and it could be because i'm screen recording right now all right, let's go ahead and uh, dive into this real quick. See what I can add to it. I did make another layer, so let me go ahead and put it down here. Just gonna leave it like this, actually. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Freestyle this and see how it turns out. All right, that's good. Leave it like that. All right. I gotta remember just hit command Q. But I feel like I'm getting a little bit faster with this.
trying to find a pad or something to add to it and then from there it's going right back to the drums and then I'm going to try and then I'm going to try and arrange it didn't want to talk over that that's why I paused for a second let me go ahead right here this one thing I love about complete control I used to want to learn music theory I still do a little bit but um this has made it easy like to just sit down and knock out some stuff real quick so i'm about to try and find a pad that i like i'm probably going to go to massive or i forgot i could load up some other vsts as well uh my only gripe or issue i should say with using this is just how small this is and i don't think i could rearrange it but we'll see See what this sound like. If I just mess around with some stuff till I find something I like. I want the browser on. I wonder if there's an option to make it bigger. Browser. Additional view. Wonder what's additional view. Oh my goodness, that's significantly better. That's what I'm talking about. See, I didn't even know that was there. So that one change made everything a lot better. So I'm about to go ahead and just find me a pad I like. That matches the beat, build it up. this let me see what I can do here it's weird <laughs>
Okay, so looking at the time on my uh, camera, I only have a little bit of time left before it stops recording and I don't want it to mess the video up. So I'm about to go ahead and uh, try to make a quick arrangement of this. I'm not going to go label everything and all that stuff. I have a few different patterns here and there, but this is just for me to get the hang of messing around with FL Studio and like I really like this beat. So I think I'm going to just, you know, mess around with it real quick and get it going somewhat and then just finish the arrangement later but let me go ahead and see what i can put together real quick All right, for the sake of time, I only have like a minute left. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play what I have so far. And uh, it's pretty cool. Of course, it needs to be mixed and all that wonderful stuff. And I probably could learn some different automation tricks and all that stuff. But as for right now, I'm gonna leave this how it is. It's about to play. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. New to the channel, please subscribe.
you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video.